Hello everyone, welcome to you my YouTube channel VBA Automation Tutorial Point. If you are new on this channel, so please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel to get the updated videos guys. So guys, in this video, we will learn or we will talk about it, how to insert or store data in SQL Server from Excel user form. Right guys? So guys, uh, you know, just I have already, uh, you know, just make the user form and, you know, just return the code to make this video short right i'll just explain the each and every step to you guys right guys so guys here you know just first you need to go to the tool and go to the reference and here you need to add this library right microsoft activex right data object 2.5 2.8 right and microsoft so you have to up, update or you have to add this library as per your you know just as per your excel version what you are using right guys so i'm just closing it and uh, here i have a sql table that is i'm just select the data from the sql table that is employ um, i'm just selecting the first database you also use the use command and to you know just select the database but i'm not using like that i'm doing manually so I'll execute this command and you know just you can see this is the table and this is the record that tables contain right guys so here I have a you know just three R uh, text field that is employee name employee ID and address so I'll write the code right on the submit button so you can see that here I have declared two R uh, you know just a variable or we can say that object cnt as an ado db dot connection rst as an ado db dot record set right guys and here i have used the connection string to establish the connection between excel and sql server so here you can see that i have you know just here you need to write the sql server name from here you can see that this is my sql server name right guys and here uh here you you know just uh, you will write your database name what you are using right so and here i'm opening my connection and here i you know just we can say the fire the sql insert query right insert into and this is the table name and this is the column right what the employee details table contain right employee name employee id and employee address and here that is the value you know just text box one so if you know just if the column you know just uh, type of where care so you have to you know just uh, write the text box in single quote single quote then double quotes right if your column type is only numeric or you know just numeric value so you have to uh, you know just text box under this double column right so if you have you know just uh, column type as a date so you will uh, you know just use this has command right like this like this right so here so here are my first text box text box 2 that is numeric value and text box 3 again i have a where can that is string right guys so in a simple you know just i am using the ex execute command to execute the you know just this sql query i simply that and here i just pop up a message that is done and here you can set or you can close your connection that is cnt equal to nothing or also you use rst equal to nothing to close your connection right so what i'll do is i'll simply save it and execute to you and show you the output i'll simply uh now you can before executing the macro you can see the data in the employed details so this is the last data that is 19 chris k right after that you will see the data what i'm going to insert now right guys so here uh employee name that is uh we can say that's a sample and employee id is one zero two zero nine zero 
and the address is that Delhi India right I'm going to submit this report in the SQL server database so now you can see that it's a SOA message box that is done right this records has inserted in the SQL servers now you can see that I'll select the query and execute that now you can see that just go down and you can see that here that is Samuel all right uh, employee name is Samuel employee ID is this and employee address is this right guys so guys that's it that's it for this video if you have any concern any queries like inserting the data in a SQL server or like that so just write your comment in the comment box i'll get back to you on that guys so guys thank you thanks for the watching